Good night, everybody. DJ Bean here, and I hope y'all had an amazing day. My day started off with a beautiful interview done with GCY Initiative. Let's check it out. Now, I have a very good friend named Benicio. We used to call him Chocolate back in the days. And Benicio decided to call me Timble B. Where that name come from, I have absolutely no idea. And it had a day I was with my cousin and he shortened the name from Timble Bean to Bean. And after about three to four months, the name just stuck with me. And yeah, ever since then, I've enjoyed having the name. I randomly had an idea to become a DJ after my so-called rap career <laughs> ended. And I picked up DJing around the year of 2007. 2008 was my first official gig, and from there on out, that was the, the beginning of DJing me, and where I started. DJ journey has been a very long and hectic one, having the constant battle of wanting to stop. But from the beginning, it was very good. I had a very good support system at the start, especially being with a partner of mine called Anthony who does graphics now, he's no longer in a DJ life. Um, then a few years go ahead, everything was good, we had enough gigs. I was one of the only DJs, or beginner DJs, to play for prom night, which was a very big thing for me. And from there on out, we went abroad. And finding the step to go abroad was very, very difficult. I must say it was very difficult, but I did manage to make a step, and that's where I'm heading back to. My highlights in my career, I have three that really stand out. The first was being able to play for prom. As I came to play for prom after the great outcast, shout out to outcast. Um, I only knew outcast and Polly for playing for prom. And then I got approached, would you like to play for prom? That was an amazing highlight for me, that my name was getting out there. And from prom, I was approached by a group called VXG, the Video X Games. <laughs> And the Video X Games career of mine, it was very long, it was about four years, and those four long years really, really inspired me to do a lot more when it comes to the event organization. But being a DJ and hearing other international DJs complimenting me, telling me, giving me advice, very, very amazing highlight. And the third highlight that I have in my career, and this is a shout out to a very good friend of mine, DJ Spy. He was able to get me to go to Switzerland to play in Switzerland. That was my first international gig since being in Holland. And oh, that was an experience. That was a very beautiful and amazing experience, being able to be in Switzerland and bring in what I love, which is the soca music, the dance hall music, to Switzerland. So that's definitely a highlight. And the lows of my career, most definitely the dips that I had while being in the Netherlands, especially the three-year dip that I had being in the Netherlands. And the first dip I ever had putting myself in somewhat of a depression. <laughs> which didn't have to happen, but because I put so much stress on myself, that's definitely not, not a thing I would like to remember. Um, the first dip I had of wanting to quit DJing was when I first went to Holland. Uh, it was very hard for me to adapt to the Holland way of music and style. Because being from St. Martin, I was a very soca and dancehall influenced DJ. I wasn't a big fan of the hip hop, the R&B and everything else, just the soca and the dancehall. Um, while I was there uh, learning and adapting, I was like, okay, you know, in Holland they like the Afrobeat, the Mumbaton, and I didn't want to put more pressure on myself to find a whole new genre for me to go study and learn. The advice I would give to Caribbean DJs, I wouldn't want you to make the same mistake I made, by forcing yourself to adapt to the way of playing or style of music. Like, there is a market for everyone. There is a soca scene in Holland. There is a dance house in Holland. You just have to infiltrate the right market for you until you start your own little fan base. And once you have your own little fan base, that's when you could start to branch out the key. They like a little more Afrobeat. I can ask them for advice what songs are popular, and you start small. But don't try to make the big jump instantly because that's when stuff really starts to get hard and you're gonna put a lot of pressure on yourself and start to wonder why am I doing this for other people who don't know me why am I pushing myself to do something that might not even work and yeah just stay yourself be yourself and find your market your niche market and expand from there on
Right now, currently in the Netherlands, I officially became a business. Bean is officially a business. No more under the table payments. I'm official official. Um, aside from that, I am in talks with someone because we are organizing events, so we're going to start a, our own event organization company. Name has not been spoken about yet. Everything's still in the works. Um, I'm also currently working on merchandise. A lot of new merchandise is coming. On, on my website djbean.com you can find a lot more information on that and I'm starting a clothing store <laughs> why because I can because <laughs> I can but aside from that I have a lot more things that I would love to do when I go back to Holland I have a lot of things that I need to complete because there's a lot of things I need to make sure I have done for my steps to success First and foremost, I would like to thank everybody that supported me from the beginning. Your support means the world. You know, um, there was a point in time that I seek a lot of approval when it came to DJ, and gladly I came out of that, and that's why I am able to re-enter the whole DJ life and become the person that I want to be. But I do want to thank everybody that supported me from day one. I still have supporters on the island, and that is very nice to see it's very good for me to see that people haven't forgot about me and aside from that like whatever you want to do in life make sure you follow your dreams just chase what you want to do and don't let no one tell you otherwise you don't live for other people you live for yourself make sure yourself is happy of you do something or if you're working by doing something you love you never work a day in your life and I do truly believe that since finding myself as a DJ again just follow your dreams